Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to make money in Splinterlands as a beginner. As you can see, I've not been playing Splinterlands entirely too long. Only a couple months now. And a few of the ways that I've learned you can earn is through ranked battles. Which all you have to do is queue up, find a match... And you obviously have to win to get dark energy crystals. Boom, boom, boom. Four. And we'll throw the furious chicken out. Let's see. There we go. Okay. And we just have to win. Nice. One great thing about this card, get thorns. Thorns again. Nice. And I think that means we have it in the bag. Skip. They win. We win. And you'll see I earned 8.31 dark energy crystals. Another way that you guys can start earning money in Splinterlands once you have some dark energy crystals is to Go to rules and tournaments, or events rather, and go to the Novice League, and you'll see that you can find a few that, that aren't very much to enter in, and the prizes aren't huge, but you will earn more deck, which will allow you to rent more cards, giving you more power to climb farther in the ranks, or the leagues rather. And you'll earn more dark energy crystals. Another way to earn money in Splinterlands is through the SPS staking system. And you can earn SPS from a from a few ways. Um, having collection power, deck, deck liquidity pools, card packs, land plots, champion points, splinter talk tokens, cards, card skins, excuse me, totems, and titles. And you'll earn your SPS daily. You can also stake the SPS at 153.96 APR and earn interest. Last way to earn money is to buy cards and hope they go up in value. There's also a rental system, so if your cards do go up in value, you can rent them out to other players. And earn deck, which is really cool. Want to thank you guys for watching.